I want to show you guys around the back side of the house again. I think this is one of those houses where the uh, opportunity doesn't come along very often to pick something like this. Sorry about that. I'll go back around the front and readjust. This whole area was full of ladders and telephone booths. And when I say telephone booths, I see these right here, including the full size stand up ones with the, with the, um, the dual door. Um, there's probably, and here you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's probably eight, one on the ground. There's probably about 40 right here when, when we started. This entire shed was full coming out. They were all standing in front of here, just like those over there. And you can still see lots of phone related stuff. And then you come all the way around to the back. This shed was not that exciting for me. I got a couple really good dollar pieces out of there, but wasn't the home run, but I also was spending, spent two days picking upstairs. So the guys that were here picking may have gotten all the good stuff out of there. And I just got the scraps, even though the scraps were really good. So again, as you see, we moved to the back just, in fact, I'm gonna ask about this one right here because my research tells me if that's in good shape with the aluminum, that should go for between two and $300. And more than likely through UPS, I'm guessing, uh, assuming it's going as far as California, because I routinely ship stuff that big, probably a maximum of $55 parcel post, unless it's closer. And then I'd probably go through UPS. I'm not sure what these bring, but I don't think they're a lot, even though they're cool. You can see there, there it is. There's one stand up. There was probably seven of those, if not more. Here are all the bases that my buddy removed. This entire shed was full of phone booths and phone booth parts. You can still see there's a Texaco piece. There's another body here. There's, there you go, more stuff. I didn't, I hadn't been in here since the first day I showed up. I realized this isn't where I wanted to be because I knew the valuable stuff was small and inside. But if I have a little extra room in the storage, you know, getting, you know, a handful of those aluminum bell south phone housings and here's just a ton more and i hadn't even looked at these so this is the first time i'm seeing this so but if i can get a couple of those aluminum um with that phone pattern in the side i, I believe those are good for up to 300 bucks each which is not bad at all so you can see the house is a in the state of major disrepair. I'm not sure. I understand the guy was living here for quite quite some time before I believe his son eventually moved him to a uh, facility. So this is coming out the front. It's not the sturdiest metal protecting the window, but I guess it's better than no metal at all. All right, guys, here we go. And I promised you better footage of the front of the house. There's the attic window right there up top. Right there. Two twenty East Sixth Street. <laughs> 